So guys, we have got something pretty unfortunate to talk about today, and uh, that's the fact that skill-based matchmaking is back. It's been revived, and it's been introduced to Black Ops 3, and not very many people are happy about this. In fact, most people are very unhappy about this. So uh, it happened sometime within the past couple of days. I'm not exactly sure when. It was probably with that you know big patch update with all the weapon uh, and score streak balancing and stuff like that. But uh, there was no like official announcement that skill based matchmaking was going live. It's just like it's very apparent now. Like I ran into a lot of it last night playing. I've seen a lot of other YouTubers and stuff talking about it. In fact, I saw Nade Shot tweeting about it. How he thought like you know they gave it a month for people to establish their score per minute and then they introduced it and uh, you know I've seen a lot of people on like Reddit and Twitter and YouTube comments all over the place talking about this and like I said a lot of people are very very unhappy and it kind of sucks because like one of the things that Treyarch said before the release of Black Ops 3 was that matchmaking was going to be based on connection quality and they were not going to be introducing skill based matchmaking like advanced warfare had because a lot of people hated advanced warfare specifically for that reason and now black ops 3 has introduced it like there's absolutely no doubt about it and i just like i'm really kind of disappointed and bewildered that you know like two of the things that people hated most about advanced warfare was skill based matchmaking as well as the weapon variants and now guess what we have going on black ops 3 just introduced skill based matchmaking and if you guys saw my video from a couple of days ago, they kind of left weapon variants open as a possibility in the future. They haven't been, you know, hinted towards, but it's an open possibility that they left there. So it's just like, so far Black Ops 3 has been a fantastic game. Everybody loves it. It's just a feature-rich and content-rich game. Probably the most features and the most content we've ever had in any Call of Duty game in history. Everybody's loved it. It's had fantastic support, all kinds of stuff like that. And now all of a sudden, they're bringing back two of the ugliest monsters from Advanced Warfare and putting them in this, you know, what was a fantastic Call of Duty game. So I'm kind of frustrated by it. Other people are frustrated by it. And I want to talk to you guys about it, get your opinions, and kind of start a discussion. So anyway, if you guys don't know, what skill-based matchmaking is, is basically they take different criteria in the game, like your kill-death ratio, your score permanent, stuff like that, determine what skill level you are, and then they put you in lobbies of players of a similar skill level. And the reason why they do this is because of Johnny No Thumbs, who goes, you know, 2-18 and 18 every single game. They want to make his introduction to Call of Duty easier. They want him to have a better time to play worse people to play in lobbies of the same skill level so he can kind of learn the game better and get better at Call of Duty without being, you know, kind of just shit on every single game. And I kind of understand that thought process. I do. But at the same time, when you're helping out Johnny No Thumbs, you are completely alienating every other, like, kind of like established fan of the series that you've had for all of these years. Because for the rest of us, what this does is we are constantly playing in public match lobbies where it's just a sweaty try hard fest. If all you're doing is playing against people that are around the same skill level, it's gonna be a sweaty try hard fest all the time. It sucks the fun out of the game. It's one of the things people hated the most about Advanced Warfare, and I, just, I, I can't believe they put it in this game. Like, I, I feel like there is a place for super close, super awesome, super try hard public matches. I like when you, you know, go into a lobby against a clan, you kind of have that happen, and stuff like that. That's fine. But when it's every single match over and over and over and over again, that gets old and that sucks the fun out of the game. That's what arena mode is for. Arena mode is a more competitive mode for people who want to take the game more seriously and who want to team up, use teamwork, and play against higher skilled players. That's the point of arena mode. That's why they have the ranking system in arena mode. That's what arena mode is. Why the hell are we taking public matches and turning them into arena mode? It makes no sense to me. Like, I, I really don't get it. Like I said, I like when it gets competitive sometimes, but at the same time, it's also fun to just sit back, relax, and play Call of Duty. Like, everybody loves doing that. And that's a part of, like, the reward process. Like, in all the previous Call of Duty games, before Advanced Warfare, all the way back in the day, dating back to Call of Duty 4 and stuff like that, every single person who picked up Call of Duty sucked. We all sucked. I was awful at the game, but that made me want to get better. I wanted to keep playing, keep improving my skills, keep getting better until I could be the guy at the top of the lobby, until I could be the guy going 25 and 2, until I could be that person dropping the nuke in Modern Warfare 2, stuff like that. That's what people wanted to be able to do. They, it, it led them to want to strive to be better. 
And as you got better, it was nice because you noticed yourself getting better in lobbies and you noticed yourself doing better. When you have skill-based matchmaking, as you get better, you're just gonna get tougher competition. And really the way that skill-based matchmaking works is it wants to dial you down to a 1.0 KD ratio. If you kill one and die one, that means you're playing against other people of your same skill level. So really the entire goal of skill-based matchmaking is to have a one KD ratio. That's not fun. The fun of Call of Duty is when you drop those huge kills and the huge score streaks and stuff like that. And it just like, it kind of takes that away. Like I understand wanting to appeal to new players and wanting to bring new people to the series. That's what's gonna make Activision money. That's what's gonna keep this series alive. And I totally get that. But we all had to suck at one point and that all like, that, that made us want to get better. And I feel like, you know, when you're pandering to the new players, it's just like, that's, that's not the way to go about things. And it drives me absolutely nuts because you don't get that same reward that you used to get, uh, you know, with skill-based matchmaking. Now, that's not the only thing, all right? So that's the main thing that people mostly think about when they think about skill-based matchmaking. And if you're going to be one of those people that sits there and says, oh, you're just bad. You just don't want to play, you know, against a challenge. You don't like playing against people of your same skill level. You just want to shit on scrubs all day. If you want to be one of those people, that's fine. You can say that. You can have that opinion. Let's talk about matchmaking, shall we? So uh, in matchmaking and choosing who's going to go into what lobbies, if you place more of a priority on skill, like is done with skill-based matchmaking, what in turn is going to go down? connection quality. It's not going to be quite as important. So when the game is kind of focusing on putting people of the same skill levels together, connection quality isn't quite as important. Obviously, it's still going to be a factor. They're still going to try to get you in good connection games, but you're going to end up in games where the connection quality isn't as strong, where, you know, it's a little bit laggier. It, you know, your shots don't hit as much and stuff like that. Uh, and it's just like, it's going to result in a less fun and, and less enjoyable experience you know what i mean like nobody likes to lag and when you are focusing on skill based that kind of tends to happen a little bit more it's not gonna happen every game but it happens more especially to the people in like the higher kd ratio ranges so like if you're like a 0.75 kd to a 1.5 kd somewhere around there you know kind of average you're not going to notice it as much because there are a lot of people in that same area but let's say you have a 2 kd or a 2.5 kd or a 3 kd or even higher than that there are many fewer people who have that same kd ratio so they're going to try to focus on you know pairing you up with them and they might be you know across the country or across the world i've seen a lot of people on reddit talking about how like they're in the uk and they're getting matched up in american lobbies all the time because of this new you know update and that's awful like you you don't want to play that you don't want to play in a lobby where you're lagging where your shots don't hit right and stuff like that like it it, it reduces the enjoyableness of the game if enjoyableness was a word i could use it there but it's not but anyway yeah you guys get what i'm saying like when skill based priority goes up connection-based priority goes down, which is definitely not a good thing, especially for those people with high KD ratios or those people that play in odd areas or in odd times. So that uh, that's just kind of unfortunate. And last but not least, uh, kind of a, um, you know, a, a, a last like little factor that isn't really Treyarch's fault, but it's just the, the way the community is, is that more people are leaving lobbies than ever. Like, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I see a lot of people leaving lobbies. I see a lot of host migrations going on over the past couple of nights. Like, it's just, it's pretty crazy because people are getting frustrated. They don't, like... A good Call of Duty player doesn't want to stay in a game. Like, if he's not playing arena mode and he's not, you know, planning on being competitive, he's not going to want to stay in a game where he's just going one for one every single time. Like, that's not the, the you know, super fun thing to do in Call of Duty. So, you know, a lot of people are leaving games. And I don't recommend you guys leave games, but I also don't blame people at the same time because it's... if. It, it's just, it's not what Call of Duty has always been. You know what I mean? So I don't know. It's just like, it's really unfortunate. Like this is what turned so many people away from Advanced Warfare. And this is what made so many people stop playing Call of Duty last year. And, and last year was a pretty bad year for Call of Duty. It was good for revenue. It was good for, you know, the money the game made because of supply drops and stuff like that. But in terms of community feedback and stuff like that, it really wasn't the greatest year. And I don't want to see Black Ops 3 go the same way. I don't want to see it go down the same street because Black Ops 3 is a fantastic game. And I think we had a really good thing going. I just, I don't understand why they added this in. So I don't know. Just let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Um, are you a fan of skill-based matchmaking? If you are, you know, feel free to argue for it. You know, I, I'm, I'm all open to a discussion here. If you don't like it, try to be, you know, kind of like 
concise and, and nice with your words. Don't just say, you know, fuck fun or hard, skill-based matchmaking sucks. Like actually, you know, give reasons why and, you know, share your experiences of, of how it's kind of, you know, negatively impacted your COD experience so far. And uh, I don't know, just let me know what you guys think. Cause uh, you know, I, from what I've seen, most people are not very happy about this. And I know I myself are, uh, I'm not very happy about it either. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will catch you guys later. Make sure you guys check out these two videos. Couldn't have seen yet. And uh, peace out guys. Hey!